Hello all and welcome to another video. In this video, I'll be talking to something relating to PM portion and the meals which are served in the schools and a related concept is Tithi Bhojan. And this is like kind of a community feast, you would say, a feast organized by community for the children. So that is the simple meaning of Tithi Bhojan. Tithi is a date, the date on which some feast may be organized. Bhojan is food, meal. So that is the whole uh, meaning, literal translation of uh, Tithi Bhojan. So let us see what this concept is pertaining, especially pertaining to the schools which are serving the midday meals. So now what is Tithi Bhojan? So as I explained, the Tithi means a date and Bhojan is a meal. So Tithi Bhojan is a date on which you arrange meals. So this, since this is pertaining to the PM portion, uh, scheme. PM portion is a scheme which was earlier known as midday meal. Now it's called PM portion. And now under these, as you know, that elementary level schools, government and government aided meals are provided uh, to the children on the school days. So this essentially is a initiative. It's a voluntary initiative to supplement that which the meals which are given by the department side, the Stithi Bojan can supplement that. So let's see and understand what the concept of Tithi Bhojan. So now the concept of Tithi Bhojan, as I said, it's a community participation program and originally started in the state of uh, Gujarat under when it was called Midday Meal and relying on the Indian tradition of uh, providing food for large number of people on special occasions such as festivals, anniversaries, birthdays, uh, marriages and days of national importance so this you might have seen around us so when we have uh, uh, birthdays when we have marriages we arrange uh, food for everyone so that is the concept of this uh, Titi Bhojan is an Indian tradition of whenever of uh, some occasion is there we uh, arrange food for everyone so that uh, concept taking to our uh, schools which are serving uh, the meals under PM portion so sometimes when you have birthdays when you have anniversaries why not celebrate with the school children uh, you arrange you can arrange meals you can arrange some uh, part of the meal or you can arrange utensils whatever you can arrange i mean it will be a wonderful so that is uh, basically the concept of tithi bhojan members of the community provide nutritious and healthy food to children as an additional item and a full meal on special occasions and this is completely voluntary so this is uh, we are uh, encouraging more and more people to do it this is entirely voluntary in nature and in fact, it is something like the adopt a school initiative, which we have started where people are adopting schools, they are providing uh, your furniture, they are providing books, or they are simply going there and helping out the teachers. So this is also, you can say, a part of uh, one, one feature of adopt adopting a school that you're providing on some days, you are providing a meal. So this is the basic concept of Tithi Bojan. Now, it's not a substitute to school meal. That's what, uh, let us make it very clear that every uh, on every school day, we are providing from the department side, meals are provided. But you can supplement that. You can supplement that with fruits. You can supplement that with more vegetables because as you know, there's a limitation on the quantities and the varieties which are provided under the meals and the PM portion. So, you know, sometimes it's uh, if people come forward as a voluntary initiative, it can be supplemented. So that is the whole concept of Tithi. Bojan and to encourage community participation as part of uh, Tithi Bojan in which community provides nutritious food and under this program the members of the community contribute sponsor either utensils also can be given of food or special occasions or if you cannot give cooked food you can give fruits you can give vegetables and that can be cooked by the cook come helpers uh, which are uh, posted in the uh, which are in the school so this is the basic concept of Tithi Bojan now what are the benefits so one obvious benefit is that it, be, uh, it develops a sense of uh, community like if a village if you are a resident there and uh, you are organizing this kind of feast so there's will build a kind of community feeling togetherness supplementation of the nutritional value provided under pm portion so pm portion already we are providing uh, the rice is being provided and uh, you know along with vegetables and dal is being provided but uh, as i said the more the better so you can provide fruits if you provide foods it will add to the nutritional value 
Bec uh, develops a rapport between the school and the local community that the local community is caring for the school so that's a wonderful thing inculcating a feeling of equity among from all communities in this all people from different walks of life will come together and will also develop a feeling of equity and uh, it will definitely improve the nutritional status of the children so there is some mal malnutrition here and there I think if we work together if we improve the PM portion uh, implementation along with all these new initiatives like the tea bojan etc kitchen gardens are very important in this so together i think uh, the nutritional status of our children will definitely go up now how to identify potential donors potential donors basically can be from the community itself and uh, if there is a occasion um, especially uh, i would want to request the people who are well off who have the resources uh, as so rather than you know on some occasions at least uh, rather than celebrating it here uh, you can go to a school uh, you can identify a school and uh, celebrate with uh, the children especially in rural areas so that will mean a lot so this is entirely up to uh, the school how they mobilize people and all that but the objective of this video is that many people don't know this uh, about this Tithi Bojan and uh, once you do it you'll feel so good every year you'll come back I remember uh, whenever um, I was posted as DC, uh, I used to celebrate my birthday in Anganwadis at that point of time because we were promoting nutritional gardens in these Anganwadi kitchen garden in Anganwadis and all. So we uh, used to celebrate my birthday in Anganwadis. I've celebrated with schools as well. So that was really a wonderful feeling that going to a village and uh, celebrating with the end. In fact, entire village joined in in these occasions and it's really uh, wonderful i mean those are the best birthday celebrations i've seen for myself uh, so i will continue to do that definitely so this identification of potential donors you can uh, the school can take up and spread awareness on this now what you can provide under this tithi bojan so usually whatever is provided the full meal and the food articles should be provided as per the habits of the children of that region i mean is, uh, uh, that is the best way to go combination of cereals pulse vegetables millets and all those things healthy food basically healthy food seasonal fruit should be given a list of food items basically every school also prepares a food menu so you can use that also to supplement that um, so uh, based on whatever you can your capacity local availability and the season you can decide what you want to provide so these are now coming to some pictures. So these are some pictures of the school we went to when we provided some vegetables and meals. So these are the children. Um, in fact, if you look back at this picture, if you have a kitchen garden, if the school, which every school, by the way, now has to have. And on 29, in fact, we are celebrating the school nutrition day. Uh, I'm really looking forward to that. So if you have a kitchen garden, then students will also uh, understand the importance of uh, you know vegetables so this what we did uh, on 11th march this year uh, was my mother's birthday so uh, she wanted to do this too so we celebrated uh, her birthday uh, in the form of we organized tithi bojan in uh, in this school in this uh, sanmer school in upper shillong and here he she is seen distributing to the children and uh, you should uh, just not provide but be a part of maybe you know cooking and distributing then you will actually feel uh, the positive vibes so this you can see the open they had a wonderful uh, area where uh, all the kids used to sit and eat you can see they're enjoying their meals uh, just asking them <laughs> how much they are liking the meals and what more they would like so and apart from that you can do other things as well so the school needed some basketballs so my mother donated some basketballs the school organized some program very wonderful cultural program as well so they also feel uh, felt very very happy that somebody is coming um, away uh, from the school and they are celebrating their uh, special days with them the kids also enjoyed and the teachers also felt very good so we formed a connection and they have in fact invited that you should come every year to our school so that is a wonderful set of uh, faculty in the Sanmer government uh, school so that is all about this Titi Bojan so I hope you have understood the it's a simple thing so whenever there is a special occasion um, 
you have a birthday you have a anniversary whatever you have please go out to these schools and celebrate your special days by providing everyone a meal it can be for the entire it can be the entire meal or it can be for everyone it can be like you know just fruits or something whatever you can uh, depending on your uh, uh, capacity and in fact community should come together in a in a village community should do it that okay today we the whole village will cook together for uh, the Uh, school so if i if we see that that will be really wonderful and we will try to promote it this concept in other states is picking up and more and more tithi bhojan uh, are being organized so especially i want to request all the people who are really well off uh, so please organize these meals for our school children and especially in rural areas so i look forward to more tithi bhojans being organized in meghalaya and i will also from my side also i'll continue to do so whenever the occasion comes thank you for watching kubleshibun मिथिला